All right. All right. All right. Um, to us reviewing uh, Infinity War. That's and, not and, it. And end game. Try again. I bet you can't guess who we are. See, Marvel <laughs> is in the middle. He's Shazam. Uh, <laughs> I'm right here. I'm Batman. And then over there on the ground is Wonder Woman. I thought that was one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I don't know. I'm colorblind. Let us proceed. All right. Let's do it. Ow. All right, where do we start? I've got so much I want to talk about, some things that I'm, like, angry about. Okay, There's calm down, so calm down, much. calm down, calm down. Sorry, I, I'm very passionate about this movie. Calm down. What do you guys think of how it connected to the last movie? Uh, the whole five years later thing, I think it was a good choice, but in most movies, I feel like it's just a scapegoat. Like, hell, we don't have to deal with the consequences immediately, we can just talk about it later. The connection, I feel it's really good by the end, but the rest of it kind of feels like its own little adventure besides the opening scene which we can get to in a minute rocket what do you think i wasn't listening are you just completely surprised at the fact that we actually got this working <laughs> <laughs> a long day my question was what do you guys think about how it transitioned from infinity war into endgame i don't think that deeply <laughs> first half of the movie was weird it was great I loved mm -hmm. the whole movie, but I just thought the first part was very, very unexpected because it, uh, it, it went somewhere that I did not think it would go. I We're mean, when... about decapitating Thanos. Oh, yeah. That and time travel instantaneously. Can you hand that to me? I want it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah. Decapitating yeah. Thanos. Okay. So, uh, I was completely. Like, I expected it, but I did not expect it at the same time. I knew that Thor was going to get his revenge and go for the head. I did not think it would happen within the first five minutes of the movie. You brought this up earlier, Marvel, about oh. I used the stones to destroy the stones. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Why? How did he destroy the last stone? He could destroy all of them at once. But how? Why? How do the? How did, is it like a genie thing where you can have three wishes, but they have to be about a certain thing? Ow, oh, sorry, my. I have no idea what you're talking about. You just snap the fingers, all the stones disappear. But, but wouldn't the stones have some kind of safeguard to say, "Hey, you can't destroy these because the universe is freaking built on them"? Thor was no. fat. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, before Timbleweep saw Endgame, Marvel DM'd me on Discord and he's like, Hey, I'm gonna post a spoiler uh, real quick for Timbleweeb's in the group chat. I said, Thor is a Fortnite player and uh, he threatens to kill a kid for trolling him. And Timbleweeb's is like, I'm not sure how much of that is true. <laughs> well... You come to find out, Bryce, that literally every part of it was true. Bryce, but it, was wait, yeah, Thor was fat. Thor was uh, fat. So, <laughs> yeah, I love it so much. That was that was a really good part of the movie, honestly. So, the Hulk who balanced his Hulk side and his Bruce Banner side, but he was. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I swallowed a dust. Uh, <laughs> a dust? One specific dust. I swallowed a dust. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about Ant Man and how he came back. Uh, Ant Man and the Wasp or any of the Ant Man movies, so I had absolutely no idea why he was stuck in a decrepit garbage bin. In Ant Man and the Wasp, at the during the end credit scene, he went into the quantum realm to get. What, what was it again? Particles. To get particles, and then while he was in there, right before uh, he was supposed to be taken out by the three people outside, Thanos snapped, and the three people that were supposed to get him out of the quantum realm disintegrated real well. And then a rat came along and boop, and then twice, that rat saved the world. Long story short, the true hero <laughs> of this vegan. movie was the rat. Seriously. Like, like straight up. None like, of this movie would happen if that rat didn't have to go <laughs> and then just happen to land on it. It's oh, it's so great. What did you guys think of Hawkeye? He looked like he, a nerd when he got He looked yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
His hair looks kind of okay from the front, and then in the back it like does a weird swoopy thing. And it's the worst thing I'd ever seen in my life. I was more thinking of how he was killing people in the streets oh, of Japan. Uh, but I mean, funny. I guess we could talk about his hair if you really want to. <laughs> to be killing gang members? Yeah. Uh, he was a vigilante, I know that. That's well, that funny. makes more sense than just killing random people. <laughs> <laughs> He's just assaulting civilians. Uh, yeah, let's talk about the time travel aspect. I mean- it's... Wait, wait, I wanna talk about that the most, because that's oh, okay. like the yeah. main part of the, the weirdness for me. <laughs> that That's that's the weirdest part of the movie to me, because it, it didn't seem like a Marvel thing. I don't know why, it just felt <laughs> all of a sudden like it turned into one of those weird, cliche, like, action comedy movies from like the early 2000s. Where all of a sudden it's like five superheroes and their quirky fat friends travel <laughs> <laughs> back in time to save themselves <laughs> from Thanos. <laughs> I mean, I see where you're coming from with that one, but I, I like. Yeah, no, no, yeah, it it worked though. It was good. I liked it. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. And it, yeah. It was really. It was. It was nice, but it was just. Like it, it was, it was those those lame time travel comedy action movies from the early two thousands, but done right, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, totally. I th okay. I like how they made the references to Back to the Future because the way time travel works in Back to the Future is freaking stupid. This one had literally the quantum mechanics theory, or like the quantum universe theory. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I think that's a definitely like a good way to go about it without having to worry about paradoxes, plot holes, that kind of thing. Because Nebula was able to literally kill her past self with, yeah. like, inconsequentially because it created a new reality. Um, <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, <laughs> but also, no, that, 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 that was a mistake, that was a mistake, that was a mistake. Put it back in the couch, it's my other thing. You want to put it back over there? I will <laughs> take that from you, young man. No, my stash. So I gotta ask, uh, what did you guys think about uh, Captain Marvel in this movie? I thought she did way better than she did in her own movie. That's kind of my opinion on Captain Marvel. I think she did an amazing job in this movie. Okay, I gotta ask uh, an important question about her. Do you think she was a lesbian? No. Okay, cool. What? People are acting like she is the next big LGBT icon. Oh my gosh, just because someone has short hair doesn't make them LGBTQ! That sounds like a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I, that did not come out of my mouth, that came out of his mouth. Oh, uh, you say that way too often. <laughs> because it's not my responsibility. People can't get mad at me. They featured a video where I say I don't want to be associated with those yellow freaks on the YouTube trending And page. you also said screw women in that same video. <laughs> I want a cheeseburger. That... <laughs> Where'd it go? Uh, there's Wait, one, away. Bryce. There's there's one down there. I can't grab it. Oh yeah, true. I can't either. My arms are too short. Do I have to do everything for you people? Yeah. <laughs> go get me a sandwich. Which? Yay. Sure. Feed yeah. the raccoon before the fully grown man. You freaking. Oh well, yeah. There isn't a trash can. There's the raccoons can't eat. Okay. Anyway. All right. Anyway, so we finished talking about the the reality stone and the space stone. Um, ah, I hate you. Uh, time <laughs> stone Hulk. Get my cheeseburger back now. <laughs> I put my face in it. He can't have it back. I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> Start dribbling it like a basketball. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> I will do a wheel. Okay, anyway, uh, Mavo, get the freak back here. Okay. What are you talking about next? I literally said it like four times. Hulk I'm and sorry, the I was distracted by a burger. Hulk and the time stone. <laughs> sorry, he's looking really intently into that burger. Now, the color of the time stone, I always get confused with the soul stone because I always picture the soul stone to be green. Okay. Dibbleweebs. I don't understand the relationship between Hawkeye and, and Black Widow. Because, like, I don't understand it. 
This is going to sound like an EW article on some gossip website, but I'm just gonna say it. Black Widow and Hawkeye, best friends or secret lovers? I don't know what they want to be in this movie. I don't, uh, yeah, okay, in all of the Marvel movies, I don't understand their relationship because, like, Hawkeye has a <coughs> wife and he's obviously a and good children. family man, so I don't understand why he's acting like he's having an affair with Black Widow. Because he's I... having an affair with Black Widow. I would love to hear what the directors and writers had to say about that because. It was a weird step in something that I think is possibly the wrong direction for the character. And it was it very, very much seemed like he was being all romantic with Black Widow. And I didn't quite appreciate Well, it. that's not a problem anymore, because Black Widow is dead! Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> did, did, did you just raise your hand because you had a point, or like, what? I just no, a, a victory. Because, woo! <laughs> what do you guys yeah. think about Hulk snapping everybody back into existence? He didn't look burned enough after. He yeah. should have been more burned. <laughs> I want my Hulk to be thoroughly burned. If he's gonna go, all, if he's gonna go that far, he I might as well go all the way. Hulk medium rare. Yeah. I was, uh, that's not. That's not even that burned, dude. I want him I want well, done. well done. Well <laughs> done. Poor Cap. So single-handedly takes back all the stones. Uh, okay, at the very end, when he shows up and he's old. Yeah. And mm -hmm. all that happens. And it goes to the very last scene when he's with his wife, finally. I instantly thought of, of course, because since I'm uncultured swine, mm -hmm. I immediately thought of Up. <laughs> And, oh my gosh. Like, the house looked the same, the neighborhood looked the same, and I swear the music playing was almost like the exact same. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, oh my gosh, frickin' Matt Pat is gonna be like, the old man in Up is, is Steve Rogers, <laughs> and the chubby Asian kid is Spider Man's friend grown up in high school. <laughs> Oh, you know he's gonna do something stupid with that. Oh my gosh, that's the best fan theory that can ever exist. <laughs> What's the so in the video? video? Peggy's the old man's wife that died. So where did Captain America go on his journey to take back the stone? Well, here's my theory. Hello, Internet! Welcome to Film Theory! The show where we combine two universes that should never be combined! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that is the... I never even thought of that. <laughs> That's something you, that people won't think about until they watch this video it's like and it actually makes a lot of sense if you if you're crazy enough to give it some thought anyway bryce what would you give this movie out of 10 in 8.8 .8. this movie for me is a solid 10 out of 10 like hands down this was my favorite marvel movie of all time i loved it way better than infinity war yeah yeah i can agree with that I'd give it a 9. It, I'd give it a solid 9. It was entertaining the whole way through. Didn't feel like it ran that three-hour time. It was a beautiful way to end the stories for Iron Man and Captain America. Yeah. Um, Why did Cat pass his shield on to Falcon, of all people? He gave the shield to the skinniest dude, and it's like, <laughs> oh, the world doesn't have to be without Captain America. It's like, okay, yes, but, it but let me... yes, it is, because Sam can't do anything. Let he's me freaking, preach something to you. He's freaking weaker me... than me.